Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. The rebirth of the dollar is digital. Let's explore. I'm sure many of you are aware of different publications and articles and proposed legislation about speculation of a new dollar in digital form. And we've heard the term Fed coin and a lot of uh, um, ramblings out there about this digital dollar. Well, it looks like there's more and more talk of it. In fact, it's being openly discussed at the IMF, uh, the International Monetary Fund's forums. In fact, we know that there has been uh, plenty of economic forums as of late especially in the wake of the COVID crisis. Well, now it's out in the open, and there is this article here from Coindesk that talks about this. The major meeting of central banks produces same old evaluating CBDCs refrain. And this is central bank digital currencies. And we're going to take a look at this through this from Coindesk here and see kind of what was discussed in this uh, monetary fund panel. Officials said they continue to eva evaluate the merits and drawbacks of central bank digital currencies with a familiar caveat that digital innovation has its benefits, but policy considerations abound. And there's a panel, and among those was Jerome Powell, the head of the Federal Reserve, and they talked about this. Nothing particularly new was said during the hour-long segment in which Powell reiterated the U.S. is evaluating a digital dollar. He says, I actually do think that this is one of those issues where it's more important for the United States to get it right than it is to be first. Given the dollar's important role globally, it's essential that we remain on the frontier of research and policy development. The dollar is the world's principal reserve currency, and there continues to be large global demand for Federal Reserve notes, and they have no problem printing them either. And uh, the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston is collaborating with MIT's Digital Currency Initiative to research CBDCs, um, as was noted here. These types of experiments uh, advance our understanding that the risk and benefits of CBDCs, uh, measuring trade-offs between different designs and system arrangements, and assessing security risk on the policy side, Powell said. We're also actively engaging with a wide variety of stakeholders from government, academia, and the private sector to gather different perspectives and expertise about potential issues with the CBDC and range of design options and other consideration. And he said pretty much the same thing a year ago when he told U.S. lawmakers that while the central bank researchers were evaluating a potential digital dollar, it was unclear what specific benefits the U.S. would enjoy. And uh, so that was interesting statements. Steve Gerard uh, posted this or sent this article to me from Zero Hedge. that talks about some of the reasons why the Fed is moving towards the inclination of digital dollars. And uh, they actually compiled some previous articles here that talk about this. Um, and that is how stimulus bill creates digital dollar to send virus aid to the unbanked. The Fed is planning to send money directly to Americans in the next crisis, which they they did that. Most direct deposits, you know, just happen right already without really this digital dollar in situation. We already kind of have a digital dollar already to an extent. Dollars are more digitized than they are printed these days. In fact, a lot of people that don't use actual cash, even when you use, use a credit card, it's essentially a digital transaction. But this is essentially digitized based off of uh, some sort of a ledger system um, or blockchain for security. There's lots of different avenues that this could take. Um, but this is something that says we've done this numerous occasions in the past. We won't discuss the staggering implications of such a transformation when, if it is implemented over the next few years, instead of pointing readers and recent thoughts of a double line fixed income portfolio who warned this is Bill Campbell. The Pandora's box of Fed's digital currency will ignite an inflationary conflagration, which is spot on in his assessment. And this is 
At its core, a central bank Hail Mary attempt to spark drastic inflation across the globe in hopes of reflating away the world's unattainable debt load. And uh, those conclusions is striking. And so this is not a limit to excessive monetary policy. CBDs also appear to be an effective mechanism for bypassing the taxation, debt issuance, and spending prerogatives of government to implement a quasi-fiscal policy. Imagine, for example, the case of enacting modern monetary theory via CBDCs. And with CBDCs, the central banks would possess the necessary plumbing to directly deliver digital currency to individuals' bank accounts ready to be spent via debit cards. And uh, this is a quote from Charles Plossier's warning in 2012. Once a central bank ventures into fiscal policy, it is likely to find itself under increasing pressure from the private sector, financial markets, or the government to use its balance sheet to substitute for other fiscal decisions. With a flick of the digital switch, CBDCs can enable policymakers to meet or cave into those demands at the risk of igniting an inflation conflagration, abandoning what little still survives of sovereign fiscal discipline, uh, and who knows what else. Hope the leaders of the world's central banks will approach this new financial technology with extreme caution, guarding against its overuse or outright abuse. It's hard to be optimistic. Soon, our monetary Pandoras will possess their own box of new powers, perhaps too enticing to resist. And that is the I think the key here is sovereign fiscal discipline. Each nation needs to practice. Essentially, it's a wealth distribution scheme for the entire world for developing and uh, weak uh, financial nations. Um, and so this is from the IMF live Twitter page, a screenshot of the forum here. And you can see Jerome Powell is right there. And the Bank of International Settlements, Karstens. Uh, it says to make cross-border payments successful, we need international cooperation among a wide range of parties, including private sectors and central banks. In other words, they need cooperation with those in power in those organizations. And they'll find ways to woo those organizations, private, public, or otherwise. And uh, it is a little bit scary, but this is where we're heading, folks. Whatever the reset is going to be, you've heard me talk about this in the past um, multiple times that whatever the revaluation or the rebirth of the dollar is going to be, it's going to be digital in some manner or form. Um, and they might tout even security, especially with the blockchain or whatever, uh, you know, back in ledger, digital ledger system that was going to be, quote, secure uh, and definitely trackable, by the way. So, again, this is a uh, quoting Jerome Powell, which you heard me talk about here. And uh, it says that. And while one would attempt to interpret Powell's statement as one of skepticism that digital dollars are coming, we believe this is misplaced with Powell's emphasizing that 80% of the central banks around the world are exploring the idea. Powell also noted that, the, uh, that of the $2 trillion in dollar currency in circulation, with the number spiking following the COVID pandemic, about half remains outside of the U.S. And this is why we're not seeing hyperinflation, folks. And this is why I've also talked about how the dollar is so important because if the Federal Reserve knows it's the top dog. And so when it does this, does these uh, quantitative easing programs like they did in, in 2011, the three rounds prior to this during the Obama administration, a lot of that money was outside of the United States. And here it's, it's confessed about half remains outside the U.S., even Bloomberg notes that the Fed officials have swerved sharply from the previously cautious approach to digital currencies, embracing a full-scale study on whether one might be suitable for the United States. Powell also listed the main reasons why central banks are obsessed with to launching CBDCs, saying that there were a number of ways that the CBDC might improve the payments system, and it is mainly in this area that motivates our interest, which includes faster and cheaper transaction, of course, addressing a decline in the use of physical currency, of course, modernizing the payments infrastructure. It all sounds great, does it not? But you know what? It also means they have more control, and it also 
It has great privacy concerns, in my view. Well, I think that's pretty much reality. Anything digital can, and believe you me, will be tracked. The main reason cited by Powell is reaching consumers who have been traditionally underserved by financial institutions. Oh, wow, what a, what a statement that is. Uh, reaching consumers who have been traditionally underserved by financial institutions. Well, yeah, you put a bunch of digital dollars in their bank account, and it may sound good, but how much of a service that is that really, when all that can be tracked? And, uh, and also, when you just place digital dollars in people's, quote, wallets or bank accounts, you're essentially diluting the money supply even further and even easier. Modernizing the payment infrastructure, declining the use of physical currency. i tell you what, wow, that's rich, literally, pun intended. Here's a piece of physical currency here for you. Make no mistake, this Federal Reserve note that I hold in my hand right now, people are going to start loving this very, very soon. I know people joke around and say, well, this is just paper, when in reality, it's not paper at all. It's a cotton fiber uh, note, but nonetheless, it is untrackable, untraceable. And there's something to be said for that paper dollar, for sure. But when it's all said and done, it's this. Silver and gold, that is the ultimate money out there, for sure. And it cannot be altered, and it can be twisted. It is what it is. And this is all the more reason why we hold these precious metals. And why also I'm encouraging folks to keep a little bit of cash, physical cash, at home or somewhere safe outside of the banking system. Because when it's in the bank... Really, there's less and less cash available if you need to cash out your entire savings to get. So I would encourage you to hold some outside of that system as well. That said, um, uh, the, and we're, so moving on with the article, another way of granting the Fed permission to make targeted drug deposits to virtually anyone, anywhere in the world, at any given moment in time. In the process of making obsolete such legacy institutions as Congress, wow, imagine that, central banks and the IRS, since the Fed has ultimate control over the lifespan of every single currency unit, from inception to its eventual destruction at the hands of the Fed. Think about that statement for a moment. Wow, this is really intriguing here. The Fed has ultimate control over the lifespan of every single currency unit. Now, that obviously includes these paper notes, but, you know, you hold this paper dollar, you know, by design, it's going to lose its value by 2 2.5% every year. So, keep that in mind when you hold these. But, uh, so, and that's in one way the Fed controls it, even when it's in this, uh, quote, paper form. But, they can't do that with gold and silver. Uh, that's for sure. So, no matter what the price of what gold and silver does... Over the fun next year, even if we see them dip or crash, I would encourage most folks to hang on to it if you can afford to do so. Now, obviously, some may need to sell them, but uh, notwithstanding, it's something very important given this information here. That said, while the CBDCs are clearly coming, we expect a period of at least several years before their arrival. Absent another major financial crisis, of course, we have not made a decision to issue a CBDC, and we think there's a great deal of work to be done, Powell said. Powell's generic caveats aside, the die has been cast. That's true. I agree with this article completely on that. As we reported in August, the Fed announced that it was expanding exp experimentation with technologies related to digital currencies. Um, in addition, the Boston Fed is working with researchers at the Mass Massachusetts uh, Institute of Technology to build a hypothetical digital currency oriented for central bank use. Other central banks around the globe have been more advanced in their preparations to roll out digital currencies. Sweden began an e-corona project, no relation to the coronavirus, in 2017 and has issued two reports on the topic. The Bank of Canada has launched a formal research project that has partnered with other monetary authorities. The J Bank of Japan said earlier this month that it aims to start a new phase experiments next year. The full IMF panel on cross-border payments and digital currencies is below. So there they are. There, there they are. There are. That's pretty, pretty amazing. 
And this was held as of the recording of this video, the same day as the recording of this video. Thanks again for Steve Gerard for sending this along to me. And I think this article is actually well written and um, and doesn't really speculate a whole lot other than what is really out of the box right now. The Pandora's box, essentially. We are having open discussions about this. And with what the IMF talked about, a new Bretton Woods uh, agreement, that a post video I posted earlier, very recently here, this is the next step. I think we're going to hear more of this talk as we go throughout. And it may take a while, but I believe they've been talking about this before, as we see from these other links here. And I think that just bolsters the case for gold and silver, money that has survived millennia and epochs, governments, nations, and currencies throughout history. Gold and silver, the rock-solid, stable money for the world. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude. Post your thoughts in the comment section below. And I want to encourage you to please rate, share, Comment and subscribe.